Hello again, Michael Freeberg here from beautiful North Carolina with another shaving cream review for today. Uh, people at Captain's Choice were kind enough to send me one of their new shaving creams for review, including a sample pack of the other scents. So this is a new set that's being offered by Captain's Choice. I will show you the cream in the container. It is very soft cream, light, kind of fluffy and airy. Um, I think if you were to lather directly out of this container, you would want to just use a very light, gentle motion, otherwise you'd be picking up too much of this cream. Um, the scent uh, is described as the 45th parallel, at least that's the, uh, the name of the cream. If you have used any of the traditional almond scented soft Italian soaps, those often smell strongly of almond. Maybe they slide a bit into the marzipan scent, but there's often a kind of a sweet undertone to those, a sweet undertone of cherry. Well, this, this is just the sample container because I also received five small samples. This has that scent inverted. So this actually smells, um, has a sweet, slightly sour cherry scent with the almond as the undertone. And we'll talk more about the scents from Captain's Choice as we go through the shave. So let me go ahead and start applying this cream and then we'll go through the rest of the products. As you can see, very, very soft. What I'm gonna do is just put a bit of water on my face. And then since I'm not gonna lather directly from this small travel container or this sample container, I'm just gonna scoop some with my finger and just apply it directly to my face. Something like that. Just get a good, a good layer. Now you could, of course, just work this into the bristles of your brush if you wanted to. Or as I said, if you're loading directly from the full size container, I would just take care with how much pressure I was putting on your brush during that year. Otherwise you're gonna pick up a lot of this cream. Scent strength out of the container is very good. It's got a good, strong, sweet cherry scent to it. Um, you can smell the almond as kind of a secondary scent. Um, a lot of the Captain's Choice scents are, they're kind of very simple and straightforward in a way. It's not meant to be a very dense, complicated scent with three bass notes and middle notes and top notes. They're simple, straightforward scents. And actually in a lot of ways I do appreciate that because you get a very distinct scent on a lot of their products. Today's brush is my original Rod Neep olive wood hourglass handle with a small, very dense silver tip knot. Um, as many of you know, this knot does still shed. I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm gonna use it until it just doesn't shed anymore. And then I will shed it here and we'll do something with the handle. So I'm gonna keep the brush not wet but damp because if you start to face lather with too wet a brush it's going to start spraying a little bit so let's go and get this worked in cream does include aloe um, it does have uh, I believe it's coconut oil there's no tallow or lanolin this is an all vegetable soap I've used it for the course of the week. It's been very easy to lather. There we go. Let's work this in a little bit more. Oh, and there it goes. Of course, lather flying as always. There we go. The scent, once lathered, is definitely less than out of the container. It lightens up a little bit. Um, it doesn't remain kind of very strong or very distinct while you're shaving, um, but the scent strength out of the container is, uh, is quite nice. Okay, today's razor is going to be Edwin Jagger DE89 with the smooth handle. Uh, if you're thinking about purchasing this, I would recommend one with a bit of the patterning or knurling on it, this, this handle can get slippery um, when wet and soapy. Otherwise, this is just your standard good old D89. Very solid, mid-range razor, easy to use, very comfortable shave. In here is a brand new Persona Lab, which 
I only replaced because the last one I had was the Persona Lab from last week, which I actually got 10 shaves out of. When I thought, what the hell, after 10, go ahead and swap it out. Very impressed with those blades, by the way. Soap is slick. Like I said, easy to lather. And I really do appreciate sort of the, uh, the way that the scent profiles are maintained for Captain's Choice. If you think about something like this or the, um, the sandalwood or even the bay rum or the lime, they're very simple, direct scents. And what you get, for example, out of the sandalwood is a very simple sandalwood note but a very clean sandalwood note. Oh, two and a half days of growth. You know, the D89 is just such a simple, easy razor. Easy to use, comfortable and efficient, sort of mid-range on both. Nothing spectacular, just so straightforward, just gets the job done. Um, there is no real feel of danger when you're using it. You don't have to really worry about being overly aggressive. You know, blade control is very good. There's a reason that so many people copy that head design. Third pass, I'll likely apply a bit more, a bit more cream. But let me do so directly to the brush. Because that is, there we go. This brush, although small, does actually hold a lot of lather. It's always a bit of a problem, but. What's one nice thing about this, uh, this cream's performance though, even with the relatively thin layer, like I'm not gonna be working very hard to create some huge voluminous mountain of, uh, of lather, which is really not necessary. All right, this is the across the grain pass. Yeah, I'm really glad I actually got these, uh, these blades in a sample pack. If I've used them before, I honestly don't remember, but so far, very impressed. Have to hold a couple of them behind, so the next uh, the next round on the slants again, I'll get to try them out in there. Yeah, very, very nice slickness out of the soap. Cream. It's been really kind of fun to sort of follow along, by the way, in the variety of forms for people that are new to wet shaving after their Christmas gifts have come in. The thrill of discovery. Agony of defeat. People's hopes and expectations are generally so high that they're looking for that miracle shave. Particularly after years of miserable shaves with cartridges or electric razors. I always try to remind people, remember what it was like the first time you drove a car? You know what the potential is for what it's going to be like after you get some practice. Same thing here. There's always those lucky few that for somehow the first shave is just simple, easy, straightforward, no nicks, no cuts, comfortable. And they just sort of seem to get it right off the bat. But for many others, they struggle with, for example, finding and maintaining the right angle of the razor during their shave, or 
in particular, one one area that seems to really go wrong for people is feels really tuggy when shaving. I'll talk about that in just a moment. I'm gonna just grab a bit more of this cream. I'm just gonna work that into the into the tips of the brush. Just a bit of water. Just I'm just dripping a little bit of water on there just to make sure that the brush starts off wet. Relather the third pass. Make this one a little bit, a little bit thicker. Add some water and get a nice creamy layer. As you can see, the soap lathers easily, depending on how much you want to use. There we go, add a bit of water and thin that out a little bit. against the grain pass. So, yeah, one issue that the new wet shavers struggle with quite a bit is a sensation of sort of tugginess or very rough shaving, even if they are in fact using very little pressure and often for new wet shavers, what they think is little pressure is in fact still way too much. But that sense of tugginess is coming because a lot of new wet shavers are also obviously, and for sometimes for good reason, very cautious in those first couple shaves. And because they're cautious, they're going very slowly and because they're shaving so slowly, they're not really cutting through the hair, they're more sort of twanging their way through the hair, and that's gonna feel rough. So I always remind people, remember, speed up a little bit, because you might find that that sense of tugginess is simply because you're not giving the razor really much of a chance to cut through the hair. But I know, easy to say if you are comfortable shaving and if you're a new wet shaver, then it may still seem scary and nerve wracking, but light buffing, easy to do given the slickness of the cream. Again, here, just because of the hair growth pattern, just attack on a couple different angles. Yeah, the hair grows both this way and that way a little bit. So you just sort of have to adapt to that. Yeah, a little weeper. It's the on-camera curse. Yeah, a little rough under there. That's the against the grain pass. Also, first use of that blade could well be contributing to that. All right, done. Now, the other thing is that the soap actually, this does rinse cleanly and easily. Try to get my ears. Ah. All right. Mm. Well, let's towel off and see how we did. Post shaved skin feel. No tightness, no dryness. 
slight bit of slickness. Very good. All right. Now what I'll do for today is no, no aftershave splash. I'm gonna go straight for the bomb again. I'm gonna fall off that Captain's Choice shaving cream shave with some of the some of the sandalwood. I don't have any of the uh, any of the particular of the uh, the cherry and the balm yet. Hmm. Yeah, the aftershave balm. This soaks in easily. I am normally not a fan of sandalwood. Often that scent comes across to me as like overly incensey and sometimes a little bit sort of fake manufactured. I'm certainly no expert in what um, real sandalwood should smell like, but at least for me, this scent is not overly cloying or heavy or too heady somehow. It's just a very straightforward, simple, light, clean sandalwood scent like all these scents. And just really appreciate that. Oh, good, okay, well, no heat, no tightness. The bomb soaks in easily and quickly. Well, that was an easy, quick Sunday afternoon shave. Two days of growth, gone. Well, let's run through the products again because I think that shave is complete. For the shave today, the Edwin Jagger D89, um, first use on that Persona, uh, Persona Lab blade. Easy to use, middle of the road razor. As I said, the head design is very well understood and works great for a lot of people. It's mild-ish, it's not aggressive, it's very comfortable, generally speaking, pretty uh, pretty efficient. Good razor. The brush, rod neep, olive wood hourglass handle with a silver tip badger knot. The cream for today, let me just dry off this container a little bit. The Captain's Choice, the 45th Parallel. This is cherry scented with an undertone of almond. A very, very nice scent. If you like that sweet cherry portion of something like Cella, but you want a little less of the almond, or maybe just a different combination of those two scents, very much recommend this, uh, this shave cream. The scent is extremely nice. Um, cream performance is, again, like most of these products, simple, easy to use, very, very good. And then I follow that up just to end the shave with a couple squirts of the Captain's Choice, the Sandalwood Aftershave Balm. Well, that was quick, easy, a little rough right there, but I think that's just going too fast and that against the grain pass. What can you do? Well, with that, let me just say once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that again. Um, as always, you can leave comments and questions against the videos, and I try to get back to those comments and questions as quickly as I can. I just want to say thank you so much again for watching, and until next time, goodbye.